One of the most important steps in ensuring optimal arrhythmia monitoring is lead selection. The size and shape of the QRS complex are important for the algorithm to properly detect and classify beats, so you must choose leads that produce the best QRS morphology. When looking at the ECG signal for both primary or secondary lead, the QRS complex should be tall and narrow. The QRS should be completely above or below the baseline. In other words, it is not biphasic. For paced patients, the QRS is taller than the pace pulse. The R wave should be tall, not clipped or biphasic. The T wave should be less than one third the R wave height. If possible, the QRS should be greater than 500 microvolts or 0.5 millivolts. This can be confirmed by comparing the ECG signal to the one millivolt reference bar on the display. The P wave should be smaller than one fifth the R wave height. This is preferably less than 150 microvolts or 0.15 millivolts in amplitude. An ectopic beat is distinguished from a P wave when it is larger than one fifth of the average QRS height. The beat should not be clipped and the shape is distinctly different than the normal beat. Both multi-lead and single lead modes are available. When in multi-lead analysis mode, the algorithm uses both the primary and secondary leads to calculate the heart rate and analyze and detect a cardiac arrhythmia. Single lead analysis should be considered when it is difficult to select two leads that have sufficient amplitude and are free of noise. In such a case, it is better to select the primary lead with the best signal quality and use single lead analysis for monitoring. When measuring the size and shape of the QRS complex, use tools like the millivolt markers on the monitor display. If you determine the selected ECG lead is not adequate for arrhythmia detection, select the ECG wave to change the lead. In the setup window that opens, select the lead you would like to change. Then select an appropriate lead from the submenu. Once you've changed the lead, select Main Screen to close any open menus so you can review your change. Notice that the primary lead has been switched from lead 2 to lead 3, which shows a much better QRS morphology. You can change the secondary lead by following the same process. Philips.